What's going on, my beautiful people? Welcome to another episode of the Mind Man Podcast. As always, I am beyond excited to have you here and beyond grateful that you're taking the time out of your busy day to listen to this guy. (laughs) Now, today's a pretty, pretty awesome, what we're going to discuss about just helping you realize the reality of the fact that you literally already have everything and there's nothing that you don't have, like you you straight up have everything, and I want you to know that. And after this video, shall you lack nothing. And as Lao Tzu says, when you realize nothing is lacking, the whole world becomes yours. And that's the reality of it, because there is nothing that's lacking from your life. And if you feel like there's something lacking for your li- lacking from your life, then you're going to feel empty. You're going to feel unfulfilled. You're going to feel like there's something missing. You're going to feel like there's a void within you that you just need to fill. And you're probably feeling that right now. Right? You probably feel that void right now. Right now, as you listen to this, you probably feel like there's something missing from your life. There's a missing piece, a missing puzzle piece that's that you don't have yet. And because the fact that you don't have it yet, you are feeling down and out. Well, you may not feel down and out. Like you may feel, you know, you know, you may feel pretty good, but still, there may be a like a level of emptiness somewhere inside of you. Now, if that level of emptiness is there, chances are you're probably trying to fill it up with something, right? And chances are, whenever you find that thing that you feel like is going to fill you, it doesn't, right? I can imagine so. Because I know I lived in that delusional way for years. I mean, for my entire life. Thankfully, you know, thankfully I was able to discover this in my 20s so I didn't have to take this on for, you know, years. Decades and decades and decades. But I know majority of my audience is within their 20s and 30s. So hopefully I can stop you from decades and decades and decades of feeling empty and not feeling fulfilled, not feeling that, not feeling, not feeling complete, like whole. It's about getting you to feel whole. And I know that you, it's, you know, it's sad to think that there's a lot of people who are literally on their death, on their deathbed, and they are never going to experience what it's like to be whole. And that's, I don't want you doing that. I want you on that deathbed ready to go because you know I am full of life, even when you're ready to go. And if you've been alive long enough, I'm sure you know that there's nothing out there that can truly fill that inner void. And why, I mean, why is that? Well, let me go ahead and let me like, let me tell you in, in in a story. So there is two guys, right? Well, okay, so there's one guy who lost his keys in his house. So he's in, he's in his house, and he loses his keys in his house. So he's looking around his house. But the only problem is, is all the electricity is off, so there's no light. So it's dark. So he's looking around in the dark trying to find his keys. So he's looking around in the dark. He's trying to find his keys. But he's looking here, looking there, looking everywhere. And he can't find them. But while he's looking for his keys, he notices. Oh, man, does it? They're. Let me let me go look outside real quick. I may have dropped them outside. Let me go look outside. So he goes and he looks outside. He is underneath the light. Uh, he go, he, 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 so he goes outside. He's looking around for his keys. He's looking and looking and looking and looking. And then his neighbor comes out and is all like, hey, buddy, what's going on? What are you looking for? 
He said, hey, man, I lost my keys and I can't find them. Do you mind coming over here to help me look for him? His name was a nice guy. And he's like, yeah, for sure, man. And he goes over there, so they're both looking around. They're underneath the street light, both looking around. Looking around outside, and then after about five minutes or so of no luck, the neighbor looks up, and then he goes, hey, man, uh, where'd you lose your keys, bro? Like, where'd you lose your keys? He said, oh, I lost them in the house. And uh, the neighbor's kind of like, you know, with that look of like, uh, why are you looking out here then? Oh, because there's a... Oh, because there's, there's a street light out here. There's, there's a light out here. There's no light in the house. I can't see nothing. How stupid is that? How stupid is that? Like, imagine losing your keys inside the house, but there's no lights. So you go under a street light to look for them, thinking you're going to find them. That's why... <laughs> that's why filling yourself with things it doesn't do anything for that void because the thing is this we're always looking what okay so whenever we're looking for for for, for a way to fill that void we go within ourselves and then we see that it's dark we see straight darkness there's no there's no light so we can't see anything so we're like all right that means what i'm looking for must be out there where there's so many colors so many so many this so many that so many light there's so much light I should be able to find it out here because there's so much light. Look at all these things. One of these things have to be it. But your keys are on the inside of the house. You know? Fulfillment is already there. Right now you're scrubbing. A, right now there's a stain on the window. And you see that. You see that there's a stain on the window and you see that there's something, something needs to be done about this stain. So you are scrubbing and scrubbing and scrubbing and scrubbing and scrubbing and scrubbing away. And the more you scrub, you think you're getting somewhere. But then when you move the rag, you're like, oh my God, the stain is still there. So you start scrubbing and scrubbing again and then you notice that the stain isn't even like changing at all the stain is the exact same so you get frustrated and you keep scrubbing what i mean by that is you keep looking for things and then you notice the stain is still there and then you go to the next bottle of windex and you try to scrub and then the next bottle and the next bottle and the next bottle and you're trying to scrub and scrub and scrub and scrub and scrub and no matter how much you do, no matter how many things you get, no matter how many accomplishments you make in life, that stain is still right there. <sighs> Haven't you ever thought about scrubbing the window from the inside? I mean, has that ever crossed your mind? And this is, ex I mean, like, Jesus was, 2,000 years ago, Jesus was seeing this. And this is exactly why he said, thou blind Pharisee, cleanse first that which is within the cup and platter, that the outside of them may be clean also. In other words, hey, dude, why don't you clean the inside of the window and the outside is going to be clean? Why don't you focus on the inside and then finally you will be fulfilled? Because you can, you can bullshit your way and think that you're getting somewhere. But again, if you've been long enough, if you've been alive long enough, you know damn well that getting thing after thing after thing after thing after thing after thing doesn't do anything for the inside of you. I mean, what is the logic behind this? Like, I want you to look at the logic behind this. What is the logic behind it? I mean, there's an inner emptiness. And you're in the outside world trying to fill it up. You're filling up a bucket with the hole in the bottom that way. It doesn't work like that. I mean, and you can, like... Another story that I, I heard from Sadhguru, which I'm sure he heard somewhere else, but this awesome story of like a bird and a cow. And, you know, the bird was all like, 
Man, I remember when I used to be able to sit on the top of that, the top of that branch. Now I'm too old and my wings and my energy, I don't have enough energy to even make it to the first one. And then there's a there's a bull right there, and the bull's like, Well, I mean, if you eat some of my if you eat some of my poop, man, like, trust me, you'll be able to you'll be able to get up there in a couple of days. You'll be up at the top. You'll be up at the top for sure. It'll give you the strength and energy to do that. If you eat my bull, if you eat my bull dung, <laughs> you eat my poop. And then, you know, the bird's like, huh? Um, all right. It sounds like pretty, it sounds pretty convincing. So he starts nibbling at the poop. And what do you know? The next day he's on the first branch. Oh my God. He's like, oh crap. It really works. So he starts eating some more. Then he's on the next branch. He starts eating some more. He's on the next branch. He starts eating some more. And guess what? He's at the tip top of the tree back to where he used to be. And he's like, I made it to the top. I made it. I'm fulfilled. I'm there. And then the farmer notices, and a farmer is sitting there, at on on his on his on his on his, on his rocking chair, and he notices a big old big old fat bird up there, and he's like, "Hmm, that can be dinner." So what does he do? He grabs his rifle, boom, shoots that bird down. And the story behind it is you can bullshit your, your, yourself to the top, but you can't stay there. In other words, you can bullshit yourself thinking things are going to fill you up. And trust me, they won't. Nothing will. No thing. Put it this way. No thing can fill you up. It just takes the realization that you're already whole. Because as we talked about last week, about how to get whatever you want, And remember, the only thing you want is to feel a certain way. Because the only reason you want something is because of the way that it's going to make you feel, right? The only reason you want a relationship, because you want to feel loved. The only reason you want money, because you want to feel abundant. The only reason you want, the only reason you want to, you know, be able to do something that, you know, like be in a career that you actually love and, you know, like just do things you love is because you want to feel joyful. You want to feel static. You want to feel these. You want to feel all these ranges of emotion. That's what you want. It's like the money itself doesn't do anything for you. But the feeling that the money gives you, the feeling of abundance, the feeling of man, my cup is overflowed. That feeling is what you want. Where is all of this coming from? Like that feeling is what you want. But where is that feeling felt? Is it felt? Well, let's go with the money analogy. Is it felt in the money? Like when you hold a hundred dollar bill, is there a bunch of feeling of abundance in that bill? Or is it come is it radiating out of you? When you look at your partner that you love deeply, is all the love that you feel for them coming from them? Or is it being experienced in you? When you feel joyful, is happiness and joy raining down on you? Or is it radiating from you? Where are these emotions experienced, yo? Like, are they experienced in the outside world? 
or are they experienced in your inner reality? Where is this experience happening? In you. That means everything you want. Which is those feelings. Everything you want. You already have it. Because you are capable. Of feeling love. You are capable. Of feeling abundant. You are capable. Of feeling joyful. Of feeling ecstatic. Of feeling serene. You are capable of feeling compassion. You are capable of feeling everything that you want to feel. It's just you are so dependent on something outside of yourself to ignite that feeling. That's all that's happened. And because you become dependent on the outer world to fulfill your inner reality, You feel lackful. You feel like you don't have something. You feel like there's something missing. You feel the void. You feel the hole that needs to be filled. Because you are thoroughly convinced that there has to be something out there that you need to have. That is going to fulfill you. And so if you don't have it. You feel lackful and you feel incomplete and you feel like you feel empty. Right? Let me tell you something. If you think a partner is going to make you happy and loved, Ask anybody who's married. You got another thing coming. (laughs) If you think money's truly going to make you feel abundant and happy, then you never had any money. Ask somebody what money, if they feel truly happy because of their money. It doesn't. I'm financially stable and I don't feel amazing because of my finances. I feel amazing because, God damn it, I feel amazing. You know? I'm abundant because I know that I'm abundant. And next week I'm going to make it obvious that you are abundant by nature as well. Because you are abundant by nature, damn it. There's nothing that you don't have. You literally have everything that you've ever wanted. It's a matter of realizing that obvious fact that you don't want a bunch of things. You want the feeling these things are going to give you, but no thing can give you a feeling because you are the only one that is capable of feeling a certain way. No thing, no thing, no thing, no thing has the capability of feeling an emotion, but you do. And all you want is emotions. Look at this for what it is. All you want is emotions. All you want is to feel good. All you want is an emotion. An emotion of wholeness. An emotion of feeling complete. And these emotions are a reality within yourself. You just have to find a way to stir it up. Without any stimulation from the outer world. And this is possible for you. This is possible for you. I guarantee, I mean, I I promise you, this is something you can do. Willingness, like, are you willing to feel this on your own? Are you willing to stir up these emotions? Because it is you, are you willing to pay attention to this life, to this mechanism? Are you willing to pay attention to this life? Enough. To learn how to 
bring these emotions to surface whenever you want. Because if I want to feel abundant, if I want to feel joyful, if I want to feel these emotions, I get to sit down, crisscross applesauce, close my eyes, tilt my head up, and I can feel any one of them that I want. This is a possibility for you. Everything that you've ever wanted, you already have it. Because everything you've ever wanted is just an emotion. It's nothing else. It's just an emotion. That's it. It's just an emotion. Get that. And you're the only one that's capable of feeling an emotion. No thing can feel an emotion. Nobody can feel the emotion you're feeling. Nobody can provide you that emotion. Nobody can open your heart and say, okay, here's a little bit of love. Here's a little bit of gratitude. Right now, that's coming out of me. Right now, I'm feeling a deep, deep sense of love and gratitude. I live in this. I live in this gratitude. It's not because there's things that are making me grateful. I'm just grateful. I don't need, I'm single AF right now, okay? Or at least at the time of this recording, all right? (laughs) But I feel whole. I feel complete. I feel loved. I don't feel like I need a partner to fill me up. I'm not dependent on anything. Because I know that the treasure house is within me. It's right in between my eyes and it's right in between yours. So please understand that you are abundant by nature. You truly are abundant by nature. And I, like I said, we're going to touch on that next week. I'm going to make that obvious. But I just want you to know that there's nothing missing from your life. There's nothing missing. And the second you understand that, You'll see and you'll experience exactly what I'm trying to tell you. But please understand there's nothing missing from your life. You don't need to go out there and chase anything. But that doesn't mean you like sit down and get lazy, yo. But because I know that everything is already mine, that everything I've already won, everything I've ever won that is already within me, because I know that, Everything comes to me so much more effortlessly. Please understand this one thing. Nothing is missing. Ever. Nothing is missing. It's in you. Whether it's late or not, doesn't matter. But what matters is a simple fact that it is in you. So please don't take it for granted. Nothing is missing. You have everything you want. Just wake up and realize that.